Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy DJ Superfly once more with a review of the new Intimidator Spot 360s that just came out this year. Um, they've been hard to get. I've been trying to ask other companies around the area to see if uh, uh, they had them in stock, but they only had them for pre-order uh, and available towards the end of the month. But thanks to Kevin over at AGI Pro DJ was able to get me these in the week that I had asked them about it. So big shout outs to him. Thank you, Kevin, for this. Um, Let's get right into it. Let's go ahead and uh, check out what's new on these um, Spot 360s. This is, what's pretty cool about this light, it's got a, a dual rotating prism. So, um, you know, we're used to seeing uh, with Chavez um, lights, the three prisms, um, one, two, three, you know, kind of like a triangle. This one splits it up uh, towards a different way. Um, it makes it seem like it's five. Uh, and that beam is actually when you shoot five prisms, um, it, it makes it look the beam much wider and bigger, which is covers a lot more floor. Uh, this actually decreases the beam angle. Um, so when you rotate it less, um, it makes it smaller and then toward it more it makes it bigger. Uh, so this is one of this is not the zoom, um, like the uh, focus part of it. Um, as we're used to seeing it with the other Chavez um, Intimidators. Oops, no, I think I took it off. Hey, it does come off in case you wanted to clean it or wonder about it. I have not tried it without it. Huh. I should try that. Uh, but yes, this is a, a separate thing. Uh, if you want to focus, uh, you can do it with the DMX, um, with the software, with the controller. So you can do that when you're throwing really far and you want to get it to focus really nice. You can do that with DMX. So this is one of the new features of this light. Um, the bracket. This is a cool bracket. I have not seen a bracket like this before. Um, I think some uh, lights that I've uh, that I messed with before did have like two of these, but this is kind of unique. This, these are four. They have four little clamps that you just put it under the light, clamp it in, and then ready to hang it wherever if you want to do it with just with the one hole with one clamp, or you can use two clamps if you feel safer that way. Um, but this is pretty cool. Um, and then. Uh, the gobos, there's a few new ones that I have not seen. Uh, there's quite a lot of gobos, um, which, like I said, they, they, they look freaking awesome on this light. So uh, the beam, there's a setting where you can do it without DMX, where you can set it in um, a totem mode. So if you want it, the lights to just always be showing. Let me show you an example. If you want the lights to always just be in front of you like this, or you can point them down like this. Um, it does have that setting, which is pretty cool. Um, we have to go into the menu and uh, go ahead and change that. Um, you can also set, save, and recall scenes manually, um, direct from the LCD, which is a, a color LCD now, um, which is you know pretty cool. Um, you can also use a remote. Um, they have a optional RRC remote that you can purchase, and. And last but not least, one of the newest things that they added was Paracon. Hey, um, I know they're available to, you know, the, the higher end uh, lights, you know, I'm talking like thousand dollars or more lights. <laughs> um, Paracon for sure. You could say if you had regular ones, you know, people are so used to those. But when you do Paracon, I think it's 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 a more um, powerful um, way of, of, of uh, daisy chaining, you know, more lights and all that. So. Um, yeah so and of course this does come in white for any of those uh people that are looking for um a white uh, intimidator spot 360 they do have them um pretty much the same features and everything so um yeah uh let's get into the um the lighting of it so i'm gonna just i'm not gonna even gonna connect the dmx to it just because i gotta bring up my whole dj coffin case and all that so but otherwise i'm gonna Throw some haze in here um, and just go through the different settings in in um, LCD panel here and we'll show you all the new features. So yeah, let me give me a sec to set up some haze and turn down the lights, close the blinds and all that. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, so here we are. We got it all connected. I'm running the haze machine here. So we're gonna wait till the room fills up with some haze. So excuse me if you see a bunch of um, fog, haze <laughs> in the camera. But yeah, I got it hooked up already. Here's a PowerCon cable hooked up to it. It's ready to go. Um, 
It's also, I forgot to mention, it's got a three pin uh, in and out for XLR. And let's turn this around and we'll show you some of the settings. Right now, I have it set up as my um, DMX value, which is 199. Um, I'm running it in 14 channel mode. I don't know if you, can, you guys can see that. Hopefully you can. Uh -huh. But let's go into the menu and jump into that. So this is the running mode. DMX, which is we're running right now. Uh, you can kind of see it says there's a green dot, meaning that's that's what's running. That's what you select it. Um, you can run it as slave. Uh, there's two slave options. Um, auto, uh, you can run that auto. Uh, kind of see uh, the light is going crazy right now. <laughs> I think it's is it sound activated. No, not yet. No, no. And it's like throwing off the screen. So sorry, guys. All right. Oh, here's sound. There we go. So we turn on sound. Now it's set to sound, and whenever you guys can't really see it, but you can kind of see there, it's pointing to the TV. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Like I said, you're gonna start seeing some haze around the room. Um, so we got that. Next one down is IR. So that's if you have the remote, um, you can run that. Manual, this is another cool thing. Um, you can literally uh, pan till you can move anything on the light on here and this is that setting that they were talking about you can save um, right now I'm gonna move the the tilt oh, sorry uh, we're gonna move the pan kind of see the light moving right so if you want this light pointed at uh, at a certain area if you don't have any DMX um, anything and you just want the light to just be pointing at a certain you know uh, object or whatever it is um, which I think it's pretty cool if you're setting it up for like a big um, show um, this works perfect for it if you just set it and you don't even have to worry about running DMX cables or wireless or uh, whatever you decide to do but yeah this is pretty cool so that's pan <coughs> tilt, color let's change the color it's a bunch of colors here color four um, gobo what type of gobo you want if you want the gobo to rotate we got prism the prism if you want it on focus oh there we go we're getting to focus now um if you want to do that uh, right now i'm kind of shooting it at the ceiling so i'm gonna try to see if i can move some of the settings and try to get it to focus oh yeah all right let's let me show you what it looks like so i'm gonna point the camera up oh there it is let's see if we get the light there there it is so you can see I'm focusing it now so that's perfect and right there's a little blurry yeah we got blurry now now yep, let's do it again focus nice oh, a, little, a little too far perfect right there nice so that's the setting that I, if I was shooting to a wall that's the setting I'll leave it at but you know uh, me having a DMX controller just helps me better dimmer um, how bright you want the light to be uh, that's there um, shutter of course strobe and that's pretty much it so let's see is there a manual yep and that's pretty much it for this so I'm gonna switch it back to DMX and you can see that I got it's got 8 channel and 14 channels so like I said we're gonna leave it 14 channels for DMX and we're gonna go back um, and then next up we got setup. And here's a pretty cool thing. Um, we can do the pan reverse so if you wanted to switch it around. See the light moved to the other side, but we're back. Tilt reverse as well. If you want, ha like having that option on or off. The screen reverse if you want to turn the screen around, you can do that. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, if this light is hanging, or if you're going to plan on using this light to just hang uh, you can reverse that the pang angle um, at 540 I think that's the max that it can go yeah 540 um, and you can set these to the certain amount so you want the lights to shoot in um, just depending on what type of software DMX you're running and 270 is the tilt angle uh, here's the totem mode so if you just want to place these on a totem um, 
it's going to display if you want them just to shoot down we're going to go ahead and select that and then the light just decided it's, it's going to shoot down so from there on out if yeah if i had set it into um sound mode so which we'll do actually let's go back and we're going to do the run mode we're going to do sound um all right cool that is working there and it's just gonna as you can see it's running in uh totem mode and it's running on sound so it's only pointing towards the front and uh, what did i have it as as totem mode down right down yep i had it in down so it's gonna that's what it's gonna do and i think if i hit it again or try to move it to do something different all right just it, everything is different i don't have music loud music to play with uh yeah so um that's down and then up if you want it to be displaying up kind of like that where you just want to shoot the light up again that's that's in totem mode here i'll show you there now it's set to up so it's only going to be displaying up and you know there now it's making and you set the light on top of a a, a totem or a truss however you want to set it and or if you want to set it on top of something it's only going to shoot up like that it's not going to shoot towards your crowd or blind somebody you can kind of see the beam there looks pretty nice cool um so yeah let's keep moving uh, the light did shut off I'm thinking it's touch screen. What the heck? See, it's in sound mode. Nice. It even shows it on the screen. So the setup. Uh, let's see. Where were we at? Totem mode. Okay. Totem mode. It's up. I'm just gonna turn it off at the moment. It's still set in auto. Um, sensitivity. Uh, I guess here is where. Yeah. If I didn't really want to make that much noise. <laughs> The microphone will pick it up. I think the microphone's under the light. Yes. Uh, so you can set that setting however you want it. The indicator, uh, you want these to be blinking. If you want it, um, when you have DMX, um, there's a, a blinking light that lets you know that it's, it's, it's got the signal coming in. Um, flash, if you want it to be flashing. And I have it on just to show um, the difference of it. And sorry, excuse me, the light is moving. So... <laughs> The reset, if you want to do a whole reset of, I guess, just these settings. Uh, I'm not sure what type of reset it's going to do, but, or the factory reset. If you want to go ahead and do the whole reset part of it, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, and we'll go to the system info. So, uh, let's see, it's in version 2. Version 2. Let's see if I can get the... Oh. Uh, running mode is sound the DMX address is 199 and it does have the temperature so I know there's some software out there that allows you to um, um, read the uh, temperature over DMX so that's pretty handy to know make sure that your light doesn't get too hot um, which I already have had an issue with uh, any Chavez uh, lights moving heads so yeah otherwise that's pretty much it guys um everything else is 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 separate as as to, as to programming the light how you want to run it during the show that's all depending on your software how you want it to be displayed but i'm gonna go ahead and show you what's happening there with the light uh, let's try to get it to move there and i'm trying to get it as there's the beam like I said, it's doing its auto thing, so it looks cool reflecting off the TV. <laughs> Step back a little bit more here. Go back. Oops, almost hit. Oh, hey. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and hit the floor. See, I'm going to change the light. Or uh, color the light. But there it is doing its thing. You can kind of see that beam. The prism's not on, so it doesn't really show it really big. Um... But with that beam, like I said, at, at, at night, right now there's some light in you know in the room, but at, at a show, this thing just is so bright. 
um, let me try to catch it in the lens here. It's so cool when once you see it from afar. That's pretty much it for the review. Um, I'm going to throw some uh, videos together of when I use these uh, in, a, in a gig. Um, I've just been testing them so far and they are pretty amazing. I've had small gigs here and there um, and those small gigs using these big lights really tend to bl uh, blind at people. So what I ended up doing was lower the brightness and just run them, you know, kind of just slow and everything. But I do plan on using them here in a couple weeks for bigger shows. I uh, kind of have different setups. I'll show you some videos of what I what I did to test them here in the house with uh, lights that I have. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know if y'all, I don't know if some lights do this, but I thought this was pretty cool. Um, this is the way it's set up. And I think if, if you move it, it goes back to where it, 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 it's supposed to be. It's like an automatic reset. That's so cool. I was just messing with it and I just decided to move it and it just goes back <laughs> so yeah um again i want to give a big shout out to um kevin over at agi pro dj uh this video was made possible in part by them if you're looking for new dj gear be sure to check them out the link is below um and se habla espanol so yeah please share like subscribe um and we'll see you on the next one thanks